So apparently Britney Spears' father put out a article, or should we just say a statement, and it's literally all he said. I mean, he just said, you don't know what you're talking about. Leave us alone. This is a private family matter. It's like, okay, not really convincing, Jamie. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm really fed up with him for a lot of reasons. I'm fed up with the people around her. I'm sad for her, and I can't imagine being in that situation. And, you know, I'd like to point out that, you know, there's been a lot of celebrities over the years that could easily have portrayed the idea that, oh, they've lost their minds. I mean, let's look at freaking Shia LaBeouf. He kind of lost his mind. Uh, Let's see. Miley Cyrus definitely went off the rails. Taylor Swift doesn't exactly make good choices when it comes to men and apparently doesn't learn from those lessons. I mean, there's so many celebrities that have gone off the rails. So why is it that when Britney Spears shaves her head because she's fed up with the amount of paparazzi that follows her and fed up with being told what to do and not having control of your life? Oh, this is called for conservatorship that completely blocks every choice that normal people should have. I'm sorry, but you know, this reminds me of when we had Super Bowl and I remember going to the big mall and I remember I saw Britney Spears run past us and the amount of paparazzi that was around her was appalling. I mean, I remember, I mean, just completely took up the whole thing and they were running with her and she was trying to get away and it's like, God, I cannot imagine living like that. I mean, the paparazzi is pretty much blamed for Princess Diana's death. And these people still get away with this garbage. And these celebrities have to deal with it. But, oh, we don't allow them the freedom to just shave their head and go crazy for a second. Because you know what? I know in regular life, people do crazy things just to cope. So why would we think for one second that Britney Spears, one of the most, you know, photograph people and popular people in the world would not need a minute, you know? I mean, I'm sorry, but her dad is just ridiculous to sit here and be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know what? Okay, so why don't you, why don't you tell us? Why don't you allow her the ability to defend herself, to get a lawyer, to see her kids, to see her mom? To make a freaking dinner reservation. Why don't you give her the freaking space to actually attempt to live her life, sir? Why don't you give her control of her social media? Why don't you let her speak for herself for real? What are you so afraid of? I mean, seriously, what are you hiding? I mean, uh, besides everything. And again, I'm going to bring up the money thing because seriously, she's missing a lot of money there. And I'm just, I'm just appalled. This girl has worked forever. She deserves to live her freaking life. And it's just sick. It's absolutely sickening that the people around her are okay with this. And it's all because of money. And you know what? I really think we need to go back to the idea of treating others how you would want to be treated. Because you know what? I understand money is important. I understand that money makes the world go round and it's nice to have. I wouldn't know. But yeah, <laughs> it's. I hear it's real nice to have. So, but the thing is that I think the people that are closest to her, that are like watching her, like her handlers, that probably report everything back to her dad. I have to wonder if those people ever sit there and really look at the situation and say, gee, if this were me or if this were someone that I loved, one of my family members being treated like this, would I be okay with it? I mean, money can put a salve on your wound for a little bit. But the truth is, as a human, there are certain things that just don't fill the voids in our souls. And you have to look and be, hmm, is this okay? Is this right? Is this really what I should be doing? And I hope that the people closest to her are going to start recognizing that and be like, gee, this isn't right. If I were in this position, I would want someone to help me. And I really hope that these people start waking up and realizing that, you know, there's more to earth than money 
and living your life however you want to live it and just without regard of anybody else. You got to wake up, man. I hope these people start waking up and realizing, gee, if it were me and I was in this position, wouldn't I want someone to help me? I really hope they do because after a while, you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like they really are trying to make Brittany look crazy so that they can keep this conservatorship. And I just, it makes me insane. And it's like, she doesn't deserve this. She deserves to live her life. And Jamie, if you really have nothing to hide, come on, let her speak for herself. But we know that's not going to happen. I don't know, guys. This is just my rant because I saw his article or his statement and I was just really incensed. So I don't know. I had to make another video on this. It's just super aggravating and it's sad and it's frustrating and I'm just... I pray someone steps up and can actually help her and just, you know, come on. There's got to be a law firm out there that wants to take this on. I mean, this would be like an amazing opportunity, you know, <laughs> what is it? Aaron Brockovich, that tiny little lawyer. He got so much money. <laughs> like, come on, let's free Brittany. Let's do it. Somebody's got like got to want to step up and take this on. Right. <laughs> Oh my God. But yeah, that's, that's it. Just my little rant. Thanks for listening guys. Until next time.